In this video, I'll show you how to build links. No matter how compelling your content may be, your site will be a dead end if you never link to other content that you think your readers might be interested in. Most often, you'll be adding links within your posts and pages. So let's edit one of our existing pages and we'll add a link. I'd like to create a link to the Wikipedia page for the Acme Corporation. So first, I'll copy the URL for this site and then switch back to the editor. Next, I'll highlight the words I want to convert into a link. Once the text is highlighted, I'll click the Insert Link button. Now, if you'd like, you can link to a page or post within your own website. To do this, expand the bottom section of this panel, which will reveal a list of your pages and posts. You can filter the list by entering a search term, and then simply click the name of the post or page you wish to create the link to. WordPress will automatically populate the URL and title fields based on your selection. But to link to an outside URL, like our Wikipedia page, we'll simply paste the link URL into this field. It's a good practice to also add a title to your link. And last, I'll choose to open the Wikipedia link in a new window or tab within our visitor's web browser. I'll click the Add Link button, and just like that, we've converted this anchor text into a link. And if we click the Preview Changes button, we can test our new link to the Wikipedia page, which opens in a new tab in our browser, making it easy for folks to return to our site. Another popular method of linking is to first insert an image into our content and then convert that image into a link. As an example, let's return to the PDF of our product catalog that we created during our tour of the media library. During that video, we created this text link to our catalog, and when folks click this link, they'll download the PDF file of our catalog. But what I'd prefer is to upload an image of our catalog, which will provide a more visual link target. First, we'll need the URL for the actual PDF file that we uploaded earlier. So I'll highlight the text link and then click the Edit Link button. I'll simply copy this URL and then close the pop-up window. We can now delete our original text link since we'll be replacing it with an image link instead. Next, I'll click the Add Media button and then upload a thumbnail image of the catalog from my hard drive using the drag and drop uploader. Then, in the right-hand column, I can edit the title and then choose to link this image to a custom URL. I'll paste the URL to the PDF file, which we copied earlier, and then click Insert into Page. And now we've got a much more user-friendly image of our catalog, and when folks click this image, the PDF version of our catalog will be displayed. You could also use the same process to create buttons that function as links. So we've now covered all the basic functions and features of the WordPress administration area. So why not take a break and practice what you've learned so far? The next several videos will cover more advanced topics, including how to customize your site's theme, add new features to your site via plugins, manage users, and much more.